many of you were asking me to create a sequence of sukshma vyayam what to do before asana practice what are the basic steps and basic preparation for intense asana practice in today's class we will be practicing sukshma vyayam it will be around 20 minute to 30 minutes class which will really help you to improve the flexibility in joints and which will prepare your energy system for intense asana practice this class is not only for beginners this class is for advanced practitioner experienced practitioner also because if you keep doing advanced asana sometimes the joints hold the pressure and tension to release the tension these sukshma vyayam will definitely help you to improve the pranic flow in the joints and the body stay tuned and let's get ready for the practice before going forward those who are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and share this video to others and help them also those who are not regular to the yogic asana practice they will do every day this those who are having any injury any problems joint related problems pranic related problems they will do morning and evening twice those who are advanced practitioners they also need to do this practice once a week try this let's get ready now let's sit in dandasan hands back if you want to rest a little bit relax back otherwise just stay like that you can do both now we'll start from the toes first from the toes we'll go all the way up and nourish every part of the body we will prepare every part of the body so that later when we practice advanced asana we will not be tensed we will not hold pressure and tension so first with exhalation i want you to spread the toes and from there you squeeze the toes like that with inhale you spread like each and every toes you will open them then exhale you squeeze so this time each time we stay for 2 seconds inhale open 2 second hold exhale squeeze and 2 second hold inhale open each toes 2 second hold exhale squeeze 2 seconds hold now continue five more times inhale 1 2 exhale 1 2 inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale as you're holding the movement you hold the breath also inhale hold the pose hold the breath 2 seconds exhale 2 seconds last one inhale exhale you can do this exercise with closed eyes also to focus more now relax this leg and shake the leg now we will move to the ankle joint straight leg separate hips with apart now take inhale bring the ankle back 2 seconds you hold exhale stretch the toes 2 seconds inhale bring it back hold the breath tighten the thighs 2 seconds hold exhale stretch nicely 2 seconds three more rounds inhale you can do 10 also if you feel that you have time you can continue 10 times also otherwise you can do five rounds every times inhale exhale stretch nicely as much as possible two more times inhale exhale stretch nicely stay there with this stretching 2 seconds inhale back exhale stretch and 2 seconds 
and then release normal shake the legs side to side now again come to center this time a rotation of the ankle now from the right drop the leg then go forward with inhalation then side and then up and then again exhale down inhale up first five rounds clockwise now reverse now first inhale up spread the toes exhale pointing toes forward inhale up then exhale 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 two more times inhale exhale now shake the leg relax the leg now the third area will cover that is knee so bend your right knee first keep your left leg straight if you feel the spine is curved you place something under the buttocks and you elevate the buttocks so that spine is straight and you relax more interlock lift the foot straight spine now you press the knee down strongly press it inhale you straight two seconds you stay with the whole extension leg here if you feel you cannot lift that much go lower but keep your knee straight and work nicely here then exhale flex the foot and then press two seconds you hold inhale exhale press inhale exhale inhale exhale press strongly inhale exhale press inhale exhale press now relax this leg and then shake a little bit side to side now left side we'll do right leg straight bend the left interlock same straight spine now inhale everyone straight point toes stretch the leg you can watch the big toe to focus more exhale bend and press and watch the big toe two seconds inhale stretch the leg two seconds hold the breath also asana also exhale press inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale press and then relax this leg also now shake the leg like this third movement bend this knee again interlock now with inhalation you pointing your toe first and then make circle half like that straight half circle now half circle complete half circle you exhale flex the foot and bring back half circle with flex foot then again pointing inhale half exhale half circle three more inhale exhale flex the foot half inhale pointing toes half exhale flex foot half inhale exhale 
Inhale. Exhale. Like that. We can do reverse also. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In. Exhale. In. Now relax, shake the leg again, side to side. Same we will repeat left side, bend the left knee, here straight, right leg straight and relax. First, half inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, Exhale, three, all the joints will be open. All the tension will be removed out and prana will flow easily. And keep on watching the big toe so that you are working with the eyes also. Reverse now, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now you relax the leg and shake the leg side to side. Now we come to the hip joint. Straight leg, bend your right knee. Here, drop to the side. Now hold this ankle and then with proper gap, with proper filled gap, you lift up and then on the top as much as you can hold the foot like this now inhale exhale you go forward and press inhale exhale press inhale exhale you go down Two seconds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now this leg drop and straight. Shake the leg. Now left side bend. Drop. Hold and bring on the top, half lotus. Hold the foot like this. Hold the knee. Now start, inhale, press. Two seconds. And then exhale, you go down, press to the floor. Inhale, up. Two seconds, stay. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, breathe in, exhale, inhale, exhale, now inhale up, open, center, you relax. Now shake the leg side to side. Now another movement. Again bend the right knee. Hold the foot with both hands. Interlock your fingers. Now inhale open. Exhale you press inside and go forward. Inhale you open. Exhale, you press from outside, from here, inside, so that you're opening all the hip area. This is very good for sciatica nerves to be relaxed. Inhale, open. Two seconds, then exhale, close. 
inhale open exhale inhale exhale now come up then relax this leg then again shake the leg same thing with the left side bend the foot from outside same straight back inhale open two seconds exhale you from outside knee press and go forward inhale you open exhale you press inhale open exhale press inhale open exhale outside press and after five bend relax this shake the leg side to side now butterfly movement you bend first both bring the ankle closer to you and then you open like this now you interlock fingers like this now few rounds like this just move like this maybe try in the beginning 50 rounds and every time try to touch the knee if those who are not that flexible those who are stiff and knees are here they will do bigger like this slower but bigger this way those who are already down they can do smaller but touch the knee to the floor otherwise this you can do like that you can do 50 rounds like this now you bring the knee together and then hold hold the elbow and head down for three five seconds now relax straight leg now the next movement for this stomach now you open the leg mat distance if someone feels the spine is they open the leg more than mat otherwise mat distance is enough you interlock your fingers now we work for the internal organs to be ready you bring the hand here now you first inhale you go back as you exhale go forward to the left side make circle swing over the right then right side then go back touch the lower back and come to center then come up inhale and exhale forward five times inhale come up and then exhale go forward inhale come up and exhale forward inhale come up and exhale forward like that now we'll go reverse inhale here exhale when you go forward over the both toes inhale we'll go back exhale you go forward inhale you go back exhale outside in and then inhale half then exhale side inhale half exhale right inhale half exhale left and now inhale center hands down now shake the leg side to side now we will lie down more deeper work with this area internal organs inhale raise the hands stretch the belly as you exhale try to come up and all the way Paschimottanasana simple Paschimottanasana inhale raise go down stretch the organs stretch the belly nicely 
and then exhale you come up two then with inhalation raise curve back spinal movement go down exhale come up forward inhale exhale forward inhale exhale forward inhale and exhale relax now hands by the side of your body now second movement inhale up hold the breath and while exhaling you bring the hands lift the leg lift the body if you can and straight then again inhale go down you can try with bending knee if it is difficult for you inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale last inhale exhale and then inhale dandasan straight now go back and relax the leg side to side now upper movement spinal is done core is done now the shoulder you can bring the leg into cross leg position now the spinal movement inhale raise the hands exhale side and then drop the elbow but do not lift the buttock you extend the hand to the side stretch nicely inhale center raise exhale drop then extend to the side are you inhale center exhale down inhale center exhale down inhale center and exhale down hands now forward and backward movement with your body those who can come to the lotus they can do lotus if not simple cross leg now the backward movement inhale raise the hands and as you exhale from external rotation of the hands hands down press the palm roll the shoulders and buttock up touch the knee head back head buttocks down inhale up exhale for inhale up exhale from the side and then lift up with exhalation inhale buttock down raise the hands exhale forward inhale exhale drop and lift up inhale buttock down raise the hands exhale go down inhale raise exhale hands down you can do 3 to 5 rounds like that relax the body now come to the shoulder work 
Inhale, raise the hands front. Exhale, bend the elbow, fingers to the shoulder, elbow together. Now inhale first all the way with touched elbow. Then open the elbow, elbow facing up. And all the way exhale, down open chest. Inhale, touch the elbow, up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. With each breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now reverse. Inhale now from back, pull the elbow back and chest is more expanded. Then from side you come up, elbow facing up to the ceiling and then you bring them closer so you are moving shoulder blades also. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then relax the hands down. Observe the body. Now the next movement, elbow. Inhale, raise the hands front, palm facing up. Exhale, bring the fingers to the shoulder and press the area here nicely, tightly. Improve the vibration here and then stay two seconds. Inhale. Exhale, two seconds. Inhale. Exhale, two seconds. Inhale. Exhale, two seconds. Inhale. Exhale. Two seconds press it and then relax the hands down relax the shoulders now with the wrist bring the hands forward again palm facing down make a fist thumb close to the root of the small finger inhale side and then exhale half circle complete inhale half circle side Exhale, half complete. Five rounds like that. Now reverse. Then relax, hands down, relax the shoulder a few seconds. Next movement, inhale, hands forward, palm facing down. Now inhale, you bring the hand up, pull the fingers towards you as much as possible. Two seconds, exhale, stretch nicely, two seconds. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, then relax the hands, relax the shoulders. Now again inhale forward. This time fingers, spread the fingers nicely, squeeze, exhale, stop here tightly, tighten the whole arms, then inhale, spread the fingers, hold two seconds, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Then relax the hands. Now the upper spine which is neck for cervical. Close your eyes. Inhale, you first drop the right ear, right shoulder. Stretch the left entire left side of the neck. Now inhale center. Exhale, stretch other side the same way. Two seconds. Inhale center. Exhale again, stretch two seconds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. This time, turn the neck to the right. Exhale. Twist and stretch the entire this area. Whole area. Twisting nicely. Inhale, you bring the head center, chin over the chest. Exhale this time, turn and squeeze nicely, two seconds. Inhale, exhale, then right, two seconds. Inhale, exhale, left. One more time, continue. Then inhale, bring the head center. This time up and down, inhale, bring the chin up, stretch the entire throat, including the chest area, sternum. Exhale, bring the neck longer, chin down. Stretch the back, head. Inhale. Exhale, two seconds each time, so you will hold. Inhale. Exhale. After three to five rounds, you bring the head center. No need rotation. Just the last one is place the right palm on the right side. Take inhale and press head and hands against each other. Create vibration for the whole neck to strengthen. Exhale, release. Place the hand down. Left side the same. Place side. Inhale. Press and hold. And exhale down. Inhale. Press. And exhale. Inhale. Press. And exhale. Now from front. Inhale. Place the hand to the top. Press and exhale. Now from the back, both hands interlock. Inhale, press against each other and then release. Again, this time left hand forward. Inhale, place, press. After two seconds, release, hands down. From the back, inhale, interlock, press. Mm, then relax, inhale, hands down. So from the bottom till the head, you can increase the number. We were doing two to three times, you can go five rounds each. This whole exercise Entire practice is a strengthening practice for the joints and releasing tension out from the joints. You can release the vata, you can release the vayu. 
especially which creates problem in the joints and this exercise basic exercise also will help you for further practices for the asana practices if you want to improve because joints will be supportive so that was a complete sequence for 20 minutes to 30 minutes try every day and you will see that improvements after finishing lie down into shavasan pose so turn and then exhalation relax all the way down palm facing up and relax the body